Hello everyone, good morning. Today I am going to discuss about uh, transport of gases. This topic is one of the subtopic in the spread system in the lens standard. Transport of gases. Transport of gases. See here in the respiration what we are inhaled the air contain different gases composition which are the carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen remaining argon krypton neon radon like different gases are there in that in this air we require oxygen we have to inhale every cell should be absorbs the oxygen in the tissue of the cell level the carbon dioxide need to send out but who will take care of this complete uh, exchange of gases means you know that in our blood hemoglobin is there that's the reason blood is the main transport medium not only remaining uh, things nutrients hormones like that along with that gases also will be exchanged through the blood now here in this topic oxygen how it is transport here oxygen should be transport 97% through the rbc through the rbc red blood corpuscles have hemoglobin that is the respiratory pigment you know right through the 97% of oxygen will be transport and rest of 3% which will be dissolved in the plasma in the plasma right plasma carries the 3% of oxygen rest of 97% of oxygen it will be picked by the rbc it sent to the respective areas in the same way carbon dioxide from tissue to respiratory process which nearly 22 25% of carbon dioxide which can be transported through the blood which is the rbc right and 70% of the major percentage of carbon dioxide which is transported to the bicarbonate form bicarbonate rest of only 7% which through the plasma what it see here the 7% of co2 is transported in the form of plasma 70% is bicarbonate and 20 to 24% is in the form of rbc now here see now we have to discuss about oxygen transportation okay transport of oxygen you know that percentage should be remember now oxygen transportation here what we discussed earlier oxygen is transported that is the majority 97% is through the rbc so here in the oxygen transportation what are the favorable condition for the oxygen transportation means partial pressure of oxygen partial pressure of carbon dioxide and ph h plus ion concentration and temperature these are the four factors which affect on the transport of oxygen from lung level to you know that alveolar level it has a rich oxygen because of what we are inhaling that atmospheric air has the 21% of oxygen right the oxygen is rich here in the alveolar 
Whereas the tissue level, it is very less. That's why from here to there, to the blood stream, the oxygen should be transported. For that here, that partial pressure, you know that partial pressure means in the different gases composition, that individual gas can exert some pressure, that pressure known as the partial pressure. If the partial pressure of oxygen is more in the alveolar level, that's why hemoglobin which will be binds with the oxygen only. You know that hemoglobin have a amphoteric in nature. Amphoteric in nature. If oxygen is more, they can bind to the oxygen. If it is CO2 is more, it can bind with the CO2 than the oxygen. That's known as the amphoteric nature. Now here see, when we plot a graph between, see this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. Here I have to take the partial pressure of oxygen in this x-axis. And in this y-axis, we have to take hemoglobin saturation. It means saturation of hemoglobin. When we plot a graph, we can get the curves like a shaped one. That's known as a sigmoid curve. What is that? Sigmoid. Sigmoid curve. This curve is varying in the adult hemoglobin and fetal hemoglobin and myoglobin also. We will discuss in later this. But we get this one. But we have to partial pressure of oxygen if it is increases. That hemoglobin will be picks the more oxygens. We know that the basic idea one hemoglobin molecule binds with the or carries the four oxygen molecules. So, in such will become as a sigmoid curve, S shaped curve. Right? Here, saturation of hemoglobin, here, partial pressure of oxygen. Now, here, see, at alveoli, at alveoli level, here, see, in the lung of alveoli, we are in the inspiration, we are inhaling the oxygen. Yeah, in the air, the oxygen percentage is 21 percentage. What we are in here, A. 21 percentage of oxygen. That's an it's what the atmospheric air oxygen only. Right? But here, see, at the what I told, at air level is the oxygen percentage is much. Right? It means we can say oxygen percentage is more, that's a partial percentage is a more. Whereas the at tissue level, at tissue level, partial pressure of oxygen is less, but partial pressure of carbon dioxide is more in the tissue level. Why well, you know that? Due to the biological activity, due to the cellular respiration, the every cell liberates the more CO2. That's the reason by utilizing utilization of the oxygen. They can liberate the more mostly CO2. That's the reason here carbon dioxide is more and temperature also more and H plus ions also more here. In the same way in the lung, alveolar level, here CO2 is less than 0 0.03 percent is right and temperature also low. H plus ion also low. That's the reason in this condition, I'm writing here, in this condition, this is favorable to hemoglobin binds with the more oxygen molecules. Right? But here, here what happened? This it shows that more affinity, it's formation of the more affinity. That's why formation of oxy. Hemoglobin takes place at alveolar level, whereas the tissue level dissociation of oxygen from the hemoglobin. That's the dissociation dissociation of of 